What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make uh, a Gorilla Tag fan game or game on on Scratch. Note that this will be on Turbo War. Okay, never mind. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make Gorilla Tag in Turbo Warp. As you can see, I have the Turbo Warp desktop right here. Okay, yeah, I'm just waiting for it to load. Okay, so the, okay. How long does this take to load? Okay, so the first thing you guys want to do is you want to go to the, f is you want to go to the link, to the first link in the comments and download the file from there. It's going to be, G the name of it is going to be GTEC Engine the Vobio SP3. Huge thanks to the, the Vobio for making like the Gorilla Attack template. It isn't really a template, it's just an engine. But I would say it's a template. Now that you've got that, you should be able to play Gorilla Attack. But as you can see, your floor is just purple. And you and you don't, and you maybe don't like your rig. That's okay, I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing we're gonna do is change the map. Okay, so you see this? You you can delete it or you can make it stay and edit it. What I'm gonna do is make it stay so I can edit it. And now and now I can make it so it has like I guess a bumpy ground or something. And now yeah, as you can see we're making a bumpy ground. And maybe we can make a cave. Just put like a little thing right here where you could go down into, and maybe that could be a new map. But we, but I don't really know what will be there yet. Oh no, I messed up. What What the hell did I just? Oh, I duplicated it. I oh, no, bro, I'm so dumb, bro. I just duplicated it. Yeah, you you can do whatever you want there. For me, I'm just gonna add a, a pull, a more spiky spurts. And yeah, I'm gonna add some Texas's uh, high. I'm also gonna be making this a template if like you don't want to. If you want to like use this instead of like making it yourself. And it's really basic right now. What I'm doing is just adding like how it looks in the game. Like. So yeah. After that, let's play test it. And now we're on this bumpy ground. Slopes may be a bit broken. I don't know how to fix that. Because I didn't code it. But as you can see now we have the little cave thing. That just makes you respawn when you go into it. Yeah, that will usually happen because like it detects that you're, like you're falling and you try so it just teleports you back up. Yeah, see that happens. Yeah, it's a bit hard because it's like using the getting over physics. And yeah, as you can see. And I just fall. Okay. So now let's change the rig. So that so you you what you want to do is you want to go into the sprite name rig, and in your player thing you could edit. This is like the bottom of the player, but make sure to keep it right there. And this is the head, and yeah, but make sure to keep it at the exact same position, size, and everything. And you also need to edit the player too because that's the use when like you have to go like. When you point to the other direction, and if it's not upside down, like and position like this, then it won't work. Yeah, you could. So this is what I usually do. I just like draw it in a separate sprite. Like what? Let's say I want mine to just be like a a little square guy, a little perp, a little uh blue blue square guy. As you can see, I'm making the square right here. 
maybe I want them to be bitmaps so I can like mess around so I can make like you know the pixely style. And I'm gonna make that a bit lower. I don't know why, but something about his eyes makes it feel a little bit off. As you can see, I designed my square guy. So let's select the head, copy it, and paste it. Now, let's make it match up with the little cap behind right here. As you can see, now it is matched. And now you can delete these thingies. So I'll just delete the parts that the, that the person playing can't see. So yeah. I'll probably delete everything. Oh no, I didn't delete his face. I'm not gonna delete his face. Nobody's gonna do it anyway. And now, just copy the bottom lower half. And if you don't want a bottom lower half, then just delete everything. But I want a, a, a lower half, so I'm gonna do this. I don't want a tail, so I'm gonna delete his tail. Bye. And since, and since this is the same upside down, I'm just gonna do this. And then like tail. Copy his head. Make it like this, but upside down. And now it's approximately the same position. So now let's delete it. The reason I'm doing this on Tober Warp and not normal scratch is because this is like much more overpowered so I could do more stuff. Now time for the hands. I'm just going to design my hands as a little blue cube. And that matches, that matches this color. Apparently that's a exactly 25 by 25 cube, so I'm gonna copy that. And now, time for a few cosmetics. You could change this to be whatever cosmetic you like. For me, I would like it to, well, as you can see, if we put this here, this is how your body would look like. This is how your body would look like. Like with the blocks cosmetic or whatever cosmetic you want. So yeah, maybe you can like use your player model and design your own. So I'm, right now I'm just going to design my own. And it's just going to be a simple top hat. As you can see, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is just the best I could do. But, yeah. And. There you go. And as you can see, that, that's the top hat right there. I'm going to make this squ more squish. Because I feel like it's a bit too big. I don't make that. Now just move that down. And as you can see, he has a top hat now. And after you're done designing the cosmetic, remember to always delete the player model. If you don't delete it, then you will have a second player, and you we don't want a second player. We want one player. Well, not one player. We want like just ourselves. 
And now just copy and paste this and just flip vertical. How? What? I thought I would like do it around this. Okay, so just do, just, just do it, do it, do, do it, do it. Yeah, so I'm gonna use the same method that I did before. So I'm gonna just go and I'll copy and paste it and put it upside down. And I'll just delete the guy. Now we have it. Now we have our hat cosmetic. As you can see, he might be red or some other color. Uh, you, we, I know exactly how to change that. And I'm gonna like show you how to do it in the video too. But yeah. So if you want the player to be able to change colors and not be and not and make it so like it's actually good, uh, make it so every so make it so like your player is like red. Trust me, this will make sense later. Now that everything of him is red, we can now, as you can see, there's like this color block. You can make it so that it shows on screen and is a slider. As you can see, it's not a slider right there. You could, uh, and if it's like stuck like at a hundred, you need to right click. You need to like right click, as you can see. Click change slider range and change the maximum value to 200. And yeah, now if you if you play test the game, you can see you can change your color. See, the the uh, the outlines might be a bit weird, but don't worry that if you just made it red normally, then it would still work. So okay, the glitch is texting. The glitch is texting. Okay. As you can see, rainbow. And I know some code to make it so that you can be rainbow. So yeah, the code to make it so you are rainbow is this. Basically, what you want to do is when green flag hit, click forever, change color by one. And the change color by one can can like you can change the change color by to be different if you don't want that like if you don't want it to be that fast or that slow. As you can see, uh, I am changing colors. But also, always make sure, uh, and, all, and also you can make sure that it doesn't go past 200 by doing this. Just set color to color mod 200. I mean 201. This makes it so if it equals 201 or more than 200, then it will just think, then it will just reset. I'm pretty sure. So let's do, so you can see the color thing is rising up, rising up, rising up. And it just restarts, see? So now you don't have any more weird ones. It could change a ton of other stuff, but I, but if you want to disable it, just drag this forever, like wherever that's not in the green flag. Yeah. And the ham, you could, you could, there's also a line in there, but you could change the color of the line. But I'm searching for the color right now that does that. Maybe red? Let's see. Yeah, over here, you could change, like, the pen size. So, let's say I want the pen size to be 5. I don't want it to, to match, to be red. But maybe you could, but you could also set it so it matches the color that you chose. As you can see, it kind of matches it, but if we change it, you can see it also keeps in track, but it's like a little bit offset. So, I'm a, so let's do this. Color divided by two. And as you can see, now it matches up perfectly. And you can make it bigger or smaller. I want to see like how big it, it needs to be until it's like the size of your hand. Uh, just let me figure that out. 
so now it looks like your like if your hand is just a square with the same color it will just look like there's just a line there going to it so like you have like a reg okay so that matched up perfectly 24 probably yeah 24 is absolutely perfect if you're doing this with my template yeah yeah uh, in the next tutorial, I'll show you guys how to add mods for your game. And also, probably, if I have enough time to, next time, I will make a tutorial on how to add buttons. Yeah, you heard me right, buttons. And maybe I'll also show you guys how to use these templates, I mean, these thingies. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!